All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know where my pen went. It's over there. Okay. Let's do cancel. Let's do my country land. Let's do um, raw love. Okay. And now, until October 22nd. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're having a great day. So, hi. 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 See what we're gonna get for my little cancerians. My little cancerians. I love. Ooh, ooh, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Ooh. Keeping an open mind. The person you're thinking about, or vice versa, you know, it's, it's like your soulmate right off the bat is, is definitely uh, different. Okay, you guys uh, uh, are not alike. Okay. Um, past life relationships, so you've had a relationship with this person before. Um, you need to express your love. You need to be open enough to expressing how you feel about this person, if need be. If need be. I mean, it, it's, it's a need be. I guess it just depends if you're with this person or having a conversation or not, okay? We have weddings, so I don't know if deception is going down now or in your past life, because when past life comes out, this, you know, what we're, we're talking about your... You're with the, you're dealing with this person now too. Okay, so that's too many. Mm -mm. Alicia X just came flying out, which just means, you know, certain energy on how you feel about this particular person. But come on, cancer, cancer, cancer. This one, finances and career. So, what else? I'm quite in love. So either in the past, because it's been the past life, there's no. There's not enough love or there's not enough love now. We have children. So express your love with children underneath. So I don't know if you have children and need you to express or you just need to express how you feel. Somebody wants children. I'm not sure. We have a hot hot conversation. We have the divine at the bottom. Okay. So keep an open mind about that. Okay. About this scenario. Um, it's saying express your love and stay optimistic. All right. So something something went down, but they want you to stay optimistic about it. Um, finances and career, unrequited love. So I don't know if you don't have enough love for this person. You're pretending you do. I don't know if children are involved um, or if somebody has an issue with a child right now and they don't want to be with somebody because of children. I mean, it can be, you know, or somebody wants children and somebody doesn't. I mean, this is all over the place already. I feel like it's all one scenario, but I can feel it all over the place. So it could be like all the above, all right, keep an open mind as if somebody doesn't like what it is you do for work because that's right underneath or you don't like what this person does for work, all right, there's destiny. So it's kind of like, tell me about keep an open mind, cancer, 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 keep an open mind. So, all right, we got the devil. So you're thinking very negative about this person right now, um, negative thoughts. Or you're dealing with a Capricorn, all right? You're watching this person or this person's watching you clear as day. To me, with it being reversed like this, this is like, I don't know if it's toxic or you're just being negative, but to me, this this person's straight up watching you. Um, tell me about past life relationship. All right, ton of chalices. So in the past, you guys were happy. There was some type of fulfillment, all right, with temperance. You, you were able to blend the energies together then, okay, I'm telling you in this lifetime, you're not, or you haven't yet, but in the past, you were able to pull it off. Tell me about express your love. This time around, I don't even think you want to give it a chance, all right? You got the nine of pence, you know, looks like, you know, you're pretty confident on your own right now. Um, you're feeling pretty independent, all right? You got the seven of swords reversed, so whoever this person is, whatever this is, this deception right next to the wedding card, it, it, it's sure as F coming back around about wedding um you got the 501 so there's some conflict i don't know if in this past life or this situation right now there was somebody else involved if you're sleeping with somebody if this person's sleeping with somebody or if you guys were just in and out of each other's life um there's conflict right now about having this new fat with the ace of pence okay Somebody's instigating somebody. Tell me about finances and career. So to me, the four of pence 
somebody's somebody's tired and holding on somebody is not releasing something maybe it's a job maybe you have a job right now that you need to let go of that doesn't serve you or you, you just it wears you out you're tired all right you got the ten of pence but it pays the bills it gives you stability but this devil is looking down at finances in career so i don't know if this person doesn't like what you do for work I mean, what if you're a, a dancer, a stripper, you're something like that? I mean, I, I see a naked person on a pole right now. So, like, that's what I'm saying for an example. Maybe they don't like what you do, you know? Um, like, take it me. I, I'm, you know, I do spiritual work. Maybe the person doesn't like that you do spiritual work if you do spiritual work. You know, it's like one of those type of scenarios. Tell me about unrequited love. So, in the past, I don't think there was enough love. But, see, that wouldn't make sense because you got the ton of chalices with temperance. So, it's like, unless it's saying, you know... That was just reversed. Unless it's saying, you know, you thought you were going to get that, but then somebody else came in. I'm talking about temperance real quick. All right, the Hierophant. So you guys were married in the past. This was, you, there was a temptress. There was some cheating. All right, which would make sense with this wedding card. I already called that. Um, so whatever this person is, whether it's, it's here or a different lifetime, it's already happened again. The cycle keeps repeating itself, obviously. That's the way it works it's tough because you got a past life scenario this is what you're dealing with um you might be able to understand this with that past life read i did and the one before that um we have the tower reverse somebody's avoiding telling somebody how they feel right now with this, this that's what's going on here somebody's avoiding um we got the sun reverse so you have no clarity on it tell me about children All right, we got the three of wands reversed, so somebody is not even looking into the future and because either somebody doesn't want children or um, somebody has children. Uh, we have the seven of wands, and instead of, you know, guarding or blocking whatever it is you're doing, the divine is saying, like, look, have a conversation this way, okay, instead of blocking a conversation. Tell me about hat to hat because somebody's blocking somebody here. So instead of blocking, talk about it. All right, so we got the six of chalices. Somebody's desiring the past. All right, tell me about children. <clears throat> children. All right, we got the chariot. So we have two people, two people on two different stages of life, two different thoughts, two different something, okay? Someone wants children, someone doesn't. It, it, it's something, all right? You're on two different pages. Tell me about staying optimistic. All right, this King of Chalices is staying optimistic, or they're telling you to stay optimistic about this King of Chalices. But this King of Chalices is is um is arrogant, and then you got the Knight of Pence right after that. So it's like the fruit's not ready. All right, like don't don't take it. You know we do have love there, but there's just something there's something that I can feel that I'm not seeing that they're not letting me express. Tell me about worth waiting for. This is a very um divine scenario all right so we have we have the the queen of swords you know with the with the ace of wands you know what hangman all right so this this mama this queen has to sacrifice something to have a new start with this person and um, this woman might be sleeping with somebody so you might be dating somebody, but then your past comes back around and you're going to have to sacrifice one lover for another. You got to change your perspective when it comes to this. It's either this or you're thinking this person's sleeping with somebody else. So you cut them out of the picture. But the universe is saying, you really need to think about this. But to me, you're sleeping with multiple people. Or not necessarily multiple people. Like you're sleeping with one person, but then this person comes in wanting a new stat type thing. Okay. Or they're saying it's worth waiting for it. Either this person's going to wait for you if you're dating somebody and sleeping with somebody else, or this person is dating and sleeping with somebody else, but it's worth the wait. But see, the divine wouldn't normally talk like that. Like, yeah, hold on to somebody, you know. They might be with somebody else, but still hold on to that thought. Like, nah, you know. So to me, it's my cancer that started dating somebody, you know, and just had this new stat. And I can read it that way, too, because I'm telling you, I met somebody over the weekend and I started something new because I'm telling you right now, I'm done holding myself back. I'm done waiting for X, Y, Z. So make sure you do the same thing. Stop waiting. 
take that new stop because you got one right here. It doesn't have to be this person. See what I'm saying? So I, I know exactly what this is saying to me. It, it's how you want to perceive these messages. All right. But you, to me, I, I'm going to break it down to you real quick. Keep an open mind. It was, it was toxic or it was negative thoughts. Like, I, you know, like, yeah, I can keep an open mind, but I, I'm also moving forward because I also know this person's not here. And I also know it's a past life scenario. And could there have been a third party? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I love my twin, but you know what? It, oh, well, it, it doesn't work like that anymore. You know, all these feelings I could be feeling can literally be past life. I don't want to deal with somebody like that now that's not putting any effort into it. All right. Express your love. I've done that. So I'm done waiting because I don't know what's going on. So I took this new stop because something came at me. You know, finances and career. I'm happy. You know, I'm the ten of pence. Unrequited love. Yeah, you're not getting clarity. And it's a tower reverse. So somebody's avoiding telling you how they feel anyway. You wanted this hot hot conversation with this person, but you're on two different pages. I do have children. Maybe my twin, I know my twin doesn't want children. Okay, so I'm breaking it down like that. Staying optimistic. I'm staying optimistic to have a new stop because this king of chalices came into my life. I think no, I'm doing something. Uh, um, I have to sign for a package. Sorry, hold on, guys. Sorry about that. So I was giving you a good example, okay? Because some of you are keeping an open mind, but some of you need to expand because you're not getting the clarity and this person might be with somebody else and you don't even realize it, okay? So that's what I'm saying. So like, sorry, I ran up and down the stairs. My new cards are here that I was talking about the other day. But this is why I want you guys to expand and look outside the box when it comes to certain things because this is what's here. So either you're dating somebody new and now this person might come back around. You're staying optimistic, but it's still saying it. it's not time. And, and that finally clicked in my head. So I'm hoping it, it's clicking in your head because I know my Cancerians were dealing with a past life relationship and you've been waiting and it hasn't been coming. And we're in the same scenario again. So, but to me, there's a new start coming. To me, it's, it's not this past life. This person is not coming in yet. Okay. Unless I clarify with these ones, and it is. But see, I don't want to wait in vain for your love. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, and it's not that I was waiting, but some of you guys, I, I know, I know you are. Okay. I was more or less waiting for a conversation that that's never coming, you know, because every scenario is different, but mine wants nothing to do with it, all right, so it was like, stop trying, you know, I have hope, but a hope for some type of situation, not, not for all this anymore, you know what I'm saying, like, so make sure when you're really reading these, because what this is telling me is everything that you're feeling honestly has to do with a past life relationship right now, it's not even like feelings from this lifetime. It's feelings from this lifetime because you, you're still living here, guys. Okay. But it's not like it, these feelings, this this pull, whatever it is, it, that's from another lifetime. Get what I'm saying? That's what this is saying. And it, and it's, it's ironic because I can relate to this and I normally don't relate to my cancer son. Tell me about keeping open minds. So... So, and others are being very toxic. And there's somebody all day watching you. I don't know if it's this person. All right. So this is what I'm saying. Like you're conflicted, but you're solid. But you're conflicted whether or not this person's going to come in and do this family thing with you. See, some of you have kids. Tell me about past life. Or you, this, you know, this happened in, in a past life. All right. See, it, the something didn't happen there was never that new start so it's like you repeated the wheel and it's here again so it's like you guys are exactly where you were in your past life because you didn't get there either but now you're in this past life situ situation where you're now confronted with it or it will come at you see what i'm saying so if this person hasn't come 